Hello, Snight Hunters. Now, today I'm in one of my favorite places because my second hobby, in addition to the kicks, is my fish tanks. And I have a ginormous fish tank in my studio now. And um, basically, it's gone a bit wrong. It got so hot because I, uh, I left the AC off. For one day thinking i'd get away with it but it got so hot that um the back that i planted against the uh against the back wall of the tank it actually came loose and all the plants got wrecked so i'm here to buy some plants for my aquarium maybe get some shrimp uh, so this is gonna be a departure from the shoes if it's not your bag click away click away or be that hilarious guy oh where to get the one-to-one -one fish bro all of those gags of course always welcome because whoever writes them they feel like they're the first one to crack it right anyway i need to show my qr code and uh, get into this huge building now if you're not new to the channel you might remember some of my old videos where i go to like i got a markets i got a factory stuff like that well basically one of my fascinations with china and these uh these spots like this it's about the scale of industry and that's any industry i'm fascinated by it because back home you'd have like one shop you'd go to to get a certain thing here you come to a market area and when i say market it's not like a market back home uh, i literally had to drive about 15 minutes around this place to find a parking spot and that was non-stop driving 15 minutes all the way around this area because there's just buildings and buildings and streets and roads so this place supplies all of the plants uh, for new builds and then of course here you've got the furniture all very expensive stuff a lot of like redwood furniture um, as well as like the pets area. So here you've got a um, massive fish tank restaurant where you can sit at fish tank tables. So this isn't even the, uh, the tank area. This is just a restaurant for the people who are visiting the market to give you an idea of the scale he's obviously in a bit of disuse a lot of algae building up here but this place is incredible we're now at aquarium street so i don't know hopefully this is interesting to you if it isn't interested if it isn't of interest even words uh, to the guys who watch the sneaker videos i'm sure it will interest the aquarium hobbyist guys should probably make a second channel for it, but look at that chair, man. Um, a second channel probably would be good for it, but I can't be asked doing that. This place is mad, absolutely mad. It smells great, by the way. The red wood as it's heated up mad hot over here at the minute it's like 40 degrees c out there 100 and, what's that 105 fahrenheit for you americans um but yeah redwood has a very distinct smell to it, it smells so nice and then they've got incense burning and it's just yeah beautiful beautiful so these are all tea tables fancy tea tables and furniture for your tea art shops well, this is all the way, all on the way into the aquarium area. So I'm sure you've got a sense of how large this place is now. We're now out of the furniture area and into Aquarium Street. And when it says Aquarium Street, it's actually more than one street. So all the way down there, let me zoom in for you. See how far that goes down? That's one street of about six seven and one floor of multiple floors 
So here we've got an arowana specialist. These are mad expensive. I think these are banned in the US, aren't they? I don't know, don't know that for a fact. Pretty sure I saw that in a video once. You're not allowed to own arowana in case they, uh, in case people set them loose or you need a license or something. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Any aquarium dudes. So yeah, this side of market, the aquarium street market area is mostly hardware, tanks, a couple specialty shops. These black boys, red tailed catfish, albinos. All the big lads here. I'm not so interested in big fish, although it would be cool to have a monster tank. Um, there's another fancy aquarium shop. I'm more interested in the small fish and the shrimp and like making little, what should be a nano tank, but doing it on a big scale. Look at some of these tanks, man. They're just outrageous. So cool. Big fan of these. I've been to a few people's apartments in China where they've got an indoor pond with um, like waterfalls coming down. So that place is selling all the pumps, filtration for such a setup. I prefer shops like this where they've got all the small things. Look at that. Beautiful. I much prefer a natural looking tank. Really nice. I'm gonna look inside. Okay, jumped into that shop, but um, dude didn't want to be on film and it was such a small shop. I couldn't really film the place without filming him. So that was a bit awkward. But uh, other places though, let's have a look at this one. This place is so well stocked, man. And the water seems pretty damn clean for how many tanks they're operating. What are these guys called? They're not the, are they the glass catfish? There's so many I forget the name of. It's been so long since I had um, community tanks. Look at these. Little crabs. I'm gonna bounce, they're playing music, which is probably uh, copyrighted. You don't see those every day. Someone let me know what these guys are. They look like a, a freshwater seahorse. Some kind of pipe fish. I'd love to know the name of them. If someone can let me know. Wow. They're cool. Glowfish? Not a fan of those guys. Prefer the natural stuff. The rummy nose. Love parrots, absolutely packed to the rafters. Is your uh, flower horns? Are they flower horns? Never seen the appeal myself. These guys, they look a little bit like a uh, Jack Dempsey, but they're not. Is he just a flower horn without the bump? I guess they're juveniles. Cute looking before they get the bump, if that's the same kind of fella. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna claim to be an expert on every single fish, that would be ridiculous. Interestingly, um, this place has moved. If you go way back into my old videos, you'll find the old pet market where there was a lot of turtles and a lot of wild caught turtles and a lot of turtles that really shouldn't be, have been caught, I should say. Uh, sadly, but say what you will for the uh, the current the current current dudes in charge, let's say the powers that be, because they have cracked down on that kind of thing, uh, where you're now no longer allowed to sell turtles and crocodiles and uh, 
they had the, the Chinese one from the Yangtze River, the yellow bellied crocodile. They used to sell those. Caymans, stuff like that, but you can't get that anymore. Look at this. This is cool, man. They got pre made driftwood, pre planted, I should say, ready to go. And they um, obviously they don't keep it in, in tanks, but they've got a constant spray going on to keep them moist. All right, let's keep going. Here she is. Got all the filtration pads there. I mean, look at those, look at those tanks. They are incredible. What a display piece. I don't like all the gold on it and stuff like that, but in terms of the size and the clarity, unreal anyway so I found the plants that I'm after I just added co2 to my tank look like you could just accidentally walk past something like that imagine having that in your house you could take a bath in there see if I had that I wouldn't be keeping big fish in it I would make that into a crazy pond full of shrimp, all sorts. Kind of boring to have big, lazy fish. To me, I know everyone has their own, their own style and approach to tanks, but I prefer a lot of stuff going on with little guys. Okay, so we got arowana specialists again. Very expensive once they get into like the, the specialist ones, like the red ones. The dragon looking fellas in there. There we are, right on. You, just as I was saying these tank these shops no prices on display these will be reserved they've been bred line bred specifically to have these colors obviously the dragon being a very auspicious animal in China and these are called the dragon fish in Chinese for good reason you can see why crazy yeah, you gotta wonder the prices in here. I remember asking once and it was like, enough for me to go like, oh my God. It was a lot, it was a lot. Thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars. All right, let's keep going. What else we got? Monster tanks, tank busters. Look at the size of those arowana. My hand for scale. huge you know stuff like that back home I'd be worried where they're going but here people seem to um, have the biggest tanks ever because it's it's made here it's so affordable is that what a pangaceous catfish turns into is that how big they get? I swear they sell them to like amateur keepers at a small size. I think that's the dude that gets huge. Again, I'll say it again, I risk of repeating myself. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know the name of all of these. But I know they get large. Uh, speaking of getting large, there's a shark. If you wanted a shark tank. Imagine having the means to have a shark tank and you put something that tacky in it. But there you go. There you go. So there's a, a marine shop. They don't like filming in there because a lot of their stuff's wild caught. Which I'm not sure about the legality. I, I imagine because they're there in, in an established shop, it's okay. A lot of arowana again. I seem to be on arowana row. This is obviously like where the expensive stuff is. Not my bad at all.
here channel I've been getting into recently is um, Ohio Fish Rescue. There's that dude, that legend with the long hair, and he goes around like picking up um, tank busters, fish that got too big for the owners, and he gives them a good home. I love that. But uh, he's all got tanks that are, are big enough, it seems. All right, it looks like uh, that way's a bit quiet. There's another arowana shop down there. There's a woodscape shop. I'm gonna keep going this way. Get to the street that I actually came here to shop at, but I thought I'd give you guys a good look at the whole market while I'm here. Jesus, wet. A whole reef down there. Look at that place, man. All right, let's see if we can film here on the slide. Just gonna walk straight through. This place is huge. Look at these guys. This guy's just having a meeting on top of the tank. That's how big this tank is. The tank is so huge, so huge that there's dudes up there having a smoke sitting above the tank. with a glass floor. They put a glass floor in it. That is unbelievable, man. Stairs up on either side. Tea table at the top. Have a smoke. Sit with your mates. Look at the fish through the glass floor. Now we're getting towards where I want to be. More goldfish. More tank busters, but up here you've got a lot more uh, smaller fish. There's an unbelievably packed tank up here, Malawi cichlids. Look at those dudes. And if you're thinking that's overcrowded, it's intentional to keep the aggression down. So those are all Mabuna, those are all Malawi cichlids, all from Lake Malawi. I'm pretty sure I can see everyone in there is from Malawi. And then you get down here, you've got the um, uh, the peacocks. And oh, which lake are they from? There's still some Mabuna in there, but what lake are these from? I forgot. I used to keep and breed cichlids back in the day, but um, those days are long, long gone. Um, but yeah, these guys, they get huge. The guys with the sort of... Um, the giraffe print. What are they called? They're named after somebody. They're named after a dude. Anyway, I'll probably remember it later. But those guys get massive and they got the powerful jaws. I have to go wide mode for this shop. Tiny little shop. Busy live streaming that tank. Must be selling online. That's one way to cut down on red shark aggression, is to just pack them all in there. No one's fighting in there, there's no territory to fight over. I got one of those dudes. As I'm of the understanding, you can't have more than one of those. But there you go, put them all together, they've, they've got no choice. They're just kind of circling. Crazy to see that many in one spot. Ten for three? That's like one dollar something for three. I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm trying to get rid of those. I think they look like rubber, rubber lip placos. But here's where my action is. I love this street. This is my favorite street of them all. Because check it out. Loads and loads of tanks of much smaller community stuff, except for the, uh, the cichlids, big boys. Beautiful big electric yellow. Looks a bit stressed, but uh, and he's not completely pure breed. Check out the black stripe on him, beautiful. Big grumpy male. Check out the eggs, uh, the um, egg spots on his back fin. They actually wiggle those to attract the females because uh, they're mouth, mouth brooders. So the female will think that's um, an egg that she's missed. she come pick it up and he'll spaff into her mouth. New said romance is dead.
Look at these tiny little dudes, man. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. But not what I'm after. I'm just after some cheap shrimp. There's a snapping turtle, alligator snapping turtle up there. It's kind of more obscure stuff in these two shops. Big cichlid tank. Unbelievable. There's your specialist guppies. All line bread. I cannot be honest with that. I like just mixing them all up. But here you go, here's the shrimp. I have to remember to put chapters into this video. RME for five, so like a dollar something for five. If your cherries, dollar fifty for three. If the uh, the cobalt blues, ten for eight of the lesser red ones, all of being not so good. Ten for three of the yellows. Ten for four of these. So they've got different qualities of red. Again, I just prefer like the wild type. Where you can just pay 10 RMB and get like 300 of the things rather than the special lime bread ones because it's just ridiculous to, to keep them lime bread. I like mixing them up. Of all the shops here, this one's probably the best. This is my favorite. The quality of the water, the maintenance, and the range is just unparalleled. It's the best shop in all of this area. If you're saying something, because there's a lot of shops here, but it's just really really good quality what a relaxing shot man that song is so nice oh electric ghosts you don't see those often here the electric ghost night they really prefer the dark they're a nocturnal fish and they actually they give off a little um a very low voltage that's how they find their prey i'm pretty sure they're blind but they find their prey by giving off a little bit of voltage kind of like um echolocation on a dolphin but electricity whatever the equivalent is again feel free to fact check me but there you go All right, so the ladies get me some plants up there. I'm getting um, like 20 just boring plants, background plants. Look at this, man. If I had the time and energy to put into an actual aquascaped tank, stuff like that is just phenomenal. They actually sell tanks like this. They can do the whole setup for you, like pre-established. Um, you can just take them away. But the plant selection is pretty pretty wild in here you can get most things if it's not in here there's streets and streets to choose from some guppy grass going wild java ferns floating about yeah so i need some foreground stuff if you are on my channel for sneakers and you're still here you get a round of applause from me. I don't know why you're still watching. Because it's pretty dry stuff if you're not into it. See, you can get the full setup here. 4,899 RMB. Like 500 pounds. $600, get the full setup. Complete with little caves and all sorts. Pretty wild.
All right. All right, you missed a bit of snide bargaining. I got this piece of wood down. <laughs> it's not sneaker bargaining, but it was bargaining. This, uh, down to like 200 RMB, this beautiful piece, and um, some labor costs, as well as all of those. We're talking like 400 RMB total for everything. Uh, what's that like? 45 pounds, 50 bucks. Get all of that. This beautiful piece, and all the plants that she's gonna glue to it. She's actually gonna do it for me. Um, which, you know, I was more than willing to do myself and she was like, she didn't trust I could do it. Based on the questions I was asking her about the plants and about how much light they needed. She was like, I'll just do it for you. Um, just cool, man, really cool people. So yeah, um, she's gonna glue them all on now. And uh, I'll show you the end result later.